Hi, my name is Carlos Gutierrez. I am the executive director of Cinema Tropical and with Cecilia Barrio Nuevo, co-programmer of uh, Neighboring Scenes that is co-presented between Film at Lincoln Center and Cinema Tropical and uh, we're celebrating our sixth edition. And we're very happy uh, to be, I'm very, very, very happy to be talking to um, one of the feature filmmakers. Um, uh, it's a type of films that we get very excited because I, I, I do believe it's a, it's a gem of a film. And it's certainly a, one of the films and the filmmakers to discover in this um, sixth edition. It's his first film, uh, even though he's directed um, um, numerous short films that have traveled different film festivals, uh, but it's his first um, uh, feature film. Um, so please uh, welcome me. Welcome, uh, Mauricio. Franco, also. Mauricio. Uh, thanks, thanks, Carlos. Este, hi to all people from New York and USA citizens. Thanks to mm -hmm. Cecilia. And for us, it's a, it's, a, it's a very big opportunity and we are very proud and happy to, to screen our film USA. We're very happy to, to host and I hope uh, the, the audience enjoys us as much as we do. Um, I guess I'm going to start with the first question. What was the origin of the, of the idea to tell this story in the Andes, uh, this particular story uh, of this indigenous man in the Andes? Where, 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 where did the idea came from? So um, uh, we as, as filmmakers or uh, uh, as a creative person, no? uh, we have uh, uh, many fonts, many, many ways to, to, to start a movie. No? Some, sometimes are a picture, sometimes... A, a poem, a writing, uh, could be wh whatever, no? But in this case, uh, the, the, the most important for, for me and for my, for my team, no? I, I speak with, with, with my team too, is the, the resistance, no? The, the resistance in, in a language, no? Quechua language. You know, it's uh, every kind, every style, every way of language is cultural, you know? So uh, we live in, in a world that there is only one way to, to think, one, one idea, one, you know, uh, one language, you know? Uh, and there is no other uh, proposals, other ways to... So, so in this... Uh, Capital in and in, in, the, in this way for 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 me and my team uh, was very important, you no, know, to make a movie in Quechua language, you no, know, in Quechua language, you no, know, which is a symbol of resistance for us, you no. Know. Uh, of course, uh, was not the only approach for us the Quechua language, you no. Know. But it is the most important because it's a, it's a language that is only used in the mountains, you know, for indigenous, from indigenous people, from Asian peoples, it's a language that you can't use in the cities, you know? Uh, even our generation doesn't speak Quechua, you know? Our fathers, our mothers, they, uh, they speak, but we, we can't speak Quechua, you no? Know? And it, it's a language that is uh, forgiving because the, the 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 country the peruvian world is not thinking in quechua you know the economy the culture no e even uh, every concept is not in quechua no we think in spanish no in that kind of uh, uh colonial in environment environment you know uh, mm -hmm. and for us was very uh, important the quechua in that in that thing you not know, to approach and more specifically, um, so telling the, putting a cow in the center of, of the film, how, how did you come about that idea? Uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, the, so the, the first, the, the first, um, the first image for me, you no, know, uh, I was looking at a person with her cow walking in the Andes, you no? Know? So I want to make this, I tell to the photographer and the producer, Sergio, and the photographer, no, I want to make a movie about mountains, you know? Okay, that's interesting, sound interesting, no? Uh, uh, which are your characters, the mountains? No, yes, <laughs> but we are, where are your characters, no? And only mountains, <laughs> only mountains. So and then, then we start to work 
uh, in a concept, no? Um, and and we we met this this topic, no? The uh, being we need be in some place we need be part of something, no? And it's very difficult for us to uh, forget uh, concept or, or take off or leave uh, thoughts or or, or wherever or wherever uh, stuff. No, it's very difficult for for the people to to leave leave some ideas, no, leave, leave some paradigm, no. So in the in the, in this in this case, uh, the cow is a Peruvian cow. Yeah? It's like uh, we say here, uh, Chusco, when it's not uh, for a pedigree uh, cow, it's not a, mm -hmm. like a pro cow, you know, it's, a, sure. it's an adapted cow, maybe 100 or, or more years to adapt to the mountains. So it's a little cow uh, with less meat and less milk than others, you know, than brown Swiss or than other kind of cow, you know, and and in all the all the Andes, this kind of cow is being replaced for this um, kind of new cow. No, it's more uh, expensive, of course, but brings more milk, more uh, more uh, meat, more everything. You know, so every every farmer, every peasant, no, is is living, dying, or living, or or, or forgotten his cows, no? The, and, and for us, it was very interesting to uh, find this kind of cow, no? Because it's, it's, uh, could maybe could be disappear in a few years, you know? Uh, and, and there is no more that, that the race, that, that kind, no? So that was very important uh, for us, uh, not, not to, to use a llama or, 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 or uh, you know, an Andean animal, no? Sure. Because it's still uh, working, the llama or the donkey, it's still working, no? You know, you, you can see llamas, donkeys, and tractors, you know, in the same place. You know, it's not the same uh, as in Europe that the donkey is, is, is living or dying, no? But in, in this case, like, um, not sociologic, no? But in this case, uh, uh, like an anthropologist, uh, anthropologist view, no? Mm -hmm. That was very important to use a cow because this cow uh, it represents a problem, a social problem in the, in the region, no? It's the culture. The culture is, is always uh, moving forward. So in that sense, when writing, I mean, I, I have to. I guess we have to mention that you you directed the film, but you also wrote the film and you also edited. Um, so in the screenplay, uh, when you're writing the film, so you wanted to make a film about the mountains, and knowing knowing that you wanted to to put a, a cow in the center of the narrative, that's how you basically wrote the script around these two ideas. Uh, yes, yes, uh, like an structure for me, not not in the movie, like an structure for me. Uh, you know, Peru is divided. Uh, not only in coast, mountains, and jungles, you know, it is divided in, in highly, highly altitude floors, you know, uh, meters above the sea, okay. uh, upper, 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 and you get it down, and this, so, uh, so I divide uh, this kind of uh, road trip, walking down the Andes, you no, know, um, making like a communion uh, between the chakras, you know, and every every place that, that is getting down, walking to the city is open a chakra, open a door, open a story, you know? So for me, what the, what the first uh, structure, you know? It's a busy walking with uh, her cow, you know? And every, every uh, altitude floor, every high leaf floor that he's walking in, in, in um, his road trip, no, uh, he's opening uh, an story, an environment, uh, feelings, a situation, or wherever. No, that the first that uh, 
the first uh, structure for me, not uh, a pre-act structure. No, it is uh, what uh, I think. Uh, I think seven, seven, seven in structure. I think. Can you tell us about the casting? Uh, how do you find your uh, protagonist, uh, Amiel Cayo, uh, who plays the role of Celestino? And yeah, who yeah, also, uh, I believe, he also did the music for the film. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, Amiel, Amiel is a, is a master, he's an actor, he's a He's an anthropologist. He's, he's, he's a, such a great person. He, I, I met him looking, acting, playing a role in in a theater uh, Santiago. He, he was acting in Quechua. No, that was around 20. I mean, I think 25 years ago. No, so I keep in mind this actor. You know, but. At the second year from the um, from the first script, you know, I think it has to be a meal, no? So I have a, a start to talk with him, no? And this is a very, you know, I'm very happy with the with the film because uh, we with Amiel never have a um, you know what? Uh, Sayos, you know uh, rehearsals. Yeah, yeah. We we never have the rehearsals, you know. Uh, but but we made the we we were talking around nine years of the peli of the movie, you know. Wow. <laughs> so at the moment he start with the camera in front of her, her, uh, himself. He want to he know the the exactly thing you have to do, no. Uh, and so for us, uh, uh, we we don't um, th this project um, start from the documentary, you know, from the non fiction. We start with this uh, this approach. Is 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 of course is a is a feature film, of course, no. But for but for us, what was very important to to be very very near the reality. Very near the reality, so so we want to give we we don't want to spend uh, words in a script that we don't want to shoot, no. So uh, uh, at that uh, idea, we start to find uh, some pieces of characters, no, uh, real people that uh, played uh, himself, no. Himself so the script. Uh, we wrote uh, 12 versions of a script, no, yeah. but we shoot with a uh, uh, 13 version, no, for yeah. for the script for the script, no, because uh, the peasants uh, they are uh, native Quechua language speakers, you know, but they don't have been scholarized, so they don't learn and write Quechua. So, so bring him or her as a uh, screenplay. What's, what's a uh, you know sure. uh, doesn't work, but that, that, that's the idea, no? So we start to work with a meal like an organic, uh, you know, like an organic uh, story, no? So the first uh, thing that I tell to the people, to the people, is do not stop acting. If you uh, gonna go and drink some water, you uh, walk and get the water and drink, you know? and never see the camera, no? And uh, of course, uh, me and, and my photographer, Rubo, uh, speak with, uh, with all the team, you know, with all the production team that for, for us, uh, the most important uh, uh, step in the, in the shot, in the take, Uh, was the the end, no? We we tell the 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 whole team that we can't use the word stop and record, you know. So they uh, still acting and acting and acting and acting and acting, no? So I have uh, around uh, 44 hours of raw material, oh. <laughs> you know, uh, in. Sure. Yes, like the with 
this mission is in, no? It's like an experimental, no, not in experimental style, you know, uh, in an experimental way to, to miss, in a sense, to approach, to, to make a history with, with, with these people that doesn't understand Spanish. They don't speak Spanish. So uh, Amil uh, was my, my translator, no? And I, I bring him the, the, um, the character di direction, no? So I tell, I have to tell him, I, Emil, please tell him that don't is 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 walking too too slowly or 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 sand, but but I can I can I can talk with, with him, you know, because the 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 Spanish is a is a is a rude language, it's violent language from from uh, from Quechua's people, you know. No, so uh, all my team they speak Quechua, they learn Quechua, they know Quechua, and only me and Guillermo Palacio, the art director, we are only the Spanish speakers. No, mm -hmm. so they everything were laughing and and, and and speaking and telling stories in Quechua, and and, and I go all to the place and what are you talking about? And everything told me, uh, oh, okay, uh, you know, so. Uh, I, I, I turn this way to, to direct, no? So with Hugo Carmona, we speak that uh, we can't use uh, closer lenses. We have to use uh, you know, more aperture because we don't know that the actors uh, want to do, you know? They are not professional people. Maybe the first take is walking to the right and the second ten he walk, he, uh, second take, he walked to the left. You don't know. Uh, so so that's, um, that's a direction and that's a proposal with the, with the actors. I mean, you already uh, mentioned your work uh, with your uh, director of photography with Hugo Carmona. And I think that's one of, one of the uh, most impressive aspects of the film. Um, the camera work, uh, it's so, so impressive and so intricate, yet at the same time, doesn't exoticize um, the land or the people. Um, you do a, a great balance of uh, of creating a character and the, creating the land as a character, and but also having a very uh, detailed use of the camera. So I guess very specifically, why one, one first question is why do you, did you decide to shoot in black and white? Yes, um, uh, the project starts in in color, you know, in in color, uh, but the first year. We, 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 Hugo, the photographer, and Sergio, the producer, we, we start to, to see problems, you know? This has been rare, so, so I, 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 I told we, 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 with Sergio and Hugo, and I told uh, that, you know, the Andes are, it's a very violent environment. It's cold, there's no water, no, there are the rivers are all getting sick, no, with minerals, with minery, no, it's, 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 it's it really is not the, the pretty picture, you know, and we have, the, um, we have that, that problem because we put the camera and okay, we have a pretty picture, okay, to take that, we have a pretty picture too, no, we have take that, it's pretty amazing, no, so. Uh, we start to, to work uh, how to, to translate that space of sensoriality of a hard place, of a hard environment for that human, no? And we start to, to work in black and white, you know? In black and white, because uh, in black and white, there's no green, there's no a blue sky, you know, there's the same texture there, and you get as much some texture with, with feelings and with everything, no? So we start to, to work in black and white, but uh, we need some, you know, some, uh, some justification, you know, some for us, for, for, for filmmakers, you know, some academic justification why we should in black and white, you know? And we start to, we, we do to work in a concept, no? Uh, the life with, without color how would be the life without color 
not in black and white, without color. You know, if you have an avocado in black and white, it's turned, maybe it's an eraser. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's not a, a really good, a, a really tasty food or everything, you know? So we start to, to work in this concept, no? The life with, without color, you know? What uh, would be your 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 feeling without color, no? What would be your your river without color, no? What what would be your skies with that color? No, in a philosophical in a philosophical way to approach, no? So this concept that is the the, the really concept that that we uh, use and we can mash all together the other concepts. Uh, like missing a saying, like Quechua language, like, like like everything, you know, because in Quechua we had the problem too that uh, the first uh, five or six scripts were, read, were reading everything in Quechua, no? Uh, so if, if uh, another people from another country read a script, uh, they think that in Peru is everything is speaking English in Quechua because your script is always in Quechua, it's every line in Quechua. So we, we want to introduce then the Spanish, like this kind of broke, this kind of crash in between Quechua and, and, and that's the concept of the life without color, no? We used to match eh, all the concepts of the, of the movie. Mm -hmm. um, also another question in terms, of, uh, in terms of the camera work and the, and the, and the way you shot. Um, you, you were mentioning that you not only used a white um, shot, uh, Angles uh, precisely to to give them uh, the actors space to to do whatever they want or they wanted, but also uh, I'm intrigued that you also also use a white white screen um, aspect ratio, kind of uh, gives a sense of a uh, kind of an epic somehow. Yes, uh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. He, he have very clearly. Uh, he's from Cusco. He from the Andes. He mm -hmm. he know. He, uh, his, his environment, no, and with he, we don't need to talk about uh, to talk with this uh, topic because we are totally matching this concept, no. Uh, but for he, it was very important, very important, uh, the mountain as a character, you know. So he tell me that we have to use like uh, open frames to see the character, the peasant, no? And, and his ghost, no? His ghost is the mountain or the tree, no? We have, no? The peasant is always walking, no? With his, uh, his uh, death, his living and death, and death, no? And in that kind of, of uh, thought was uh, indeed the, the mountains, no? So um, we we'll choose the the wide screen, no, of course uh, from the western, you know, but that that the that the reason he 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 well, and I and I also choose choose the wide screen. Okay. Why did you decided to to um, to divide the film into chapters? Uh, let's call them chapters. Uh, the first one called Silence, and the other one say something um, in Quechua. Yes, because uh, that, that was an idea uh, at the last script. You know, the, the first 11 scripts, there was, the, there, there's not the, the, the division, you know, but the, then I go to the Andes and I start to work in the place. I saw that the reality is, 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 is really different, you know? So I, I start to, to, to see no, that the timing is so different and the special, the special place is so different. No? So, so I started to think in the title of the movie, no? Samichai, no? When, when in the movie, in the art of the movie is Samichai, because it's the, Samichai means in the search of happiness, no? So I, I was thinking, and, and they go back and they say, okay, that's the place of the silence, 
No, that's the place of the silence because my, uh, as, as a peasant, no, if me were uh, a miel or a peasant, no, this was my life in the mountain of my silence, no, and then in the city I have to speak. I have to speak, no. There's another kind of paradigm, paradigm, no, and then finally samichai, no. So that the you know the division because the the the, the first part of the movie uh, represents the the rural world and the second part represented crash this this breakdown uh, to the urban world you know so mm -hmm. in the rural world is silence but it's not silence from the ear it's a silence an interior silence you know like peace no and then you have to talk because in the city if you don't talk you don't get your your boss here you know sure. Based on the film's credits, um, except for the support that you got from Ibermedia, it seems uh, it's a truly independent film. <laughs> How were you able to finance it? Well, that, that's, that's so, it's, it was very difficult because, um, you know, um, when we were making the, the movie in nine years, we, we, we took nine years to make the movie, so it's not a new product for the inversors <laughs> or from the fans, you know? Uh, and most of the fans or people know about the project. Oh, it's a beautiful <laughs> project. It's a beautiful project, you know? So, yeah, yeah, we, we know it's a beautiful project, but we need money to shoot. You know? So, uh, there was a time that we present to the Peruvian fund, and we don't get it, you no? Know? Um, and Hugo, the photographer, and my brother is the executive producer, you no? Know? They get very, uh, very angry with this, and they and both start to looking for funds, no private funds, no, and to uh, asking people and friends and please, please, and then they came with the first uh, five thousand dollars, you know, and that's the moment when you have to make that truly decision and they say, okay, it's true, okay. Of course, we we can't make a movie with five thousand dollars, you know. But okay, this is our first five thousand dollars. We have to go and and find more money, no? And we find finally uh, some interesting low budget. But the thing was that in the season that we were producing the movie to show the movie. Uh, was the uh, Copa Mundial de Football, the FIFA Champions League, you know? <laughs> the World Cup, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, the FIFA World Cup, yes. Yeah. Uh, Peru doesn't go around, I don't know, 10, 30 years, I don't know. And that was the, the first time in 30 years. So every people and every company and every place that they want to bring money, they told us, your movie... Uh, have football? No, it's Africa. Oh, I'm sorry. No, maybe the next year because this year, you know, where we were in yeah, football exactly. and you no, know, and yeah. the people. Oh, I'm sorry, Maurice. I yeah, yes, I told you that I got. I have to go to your money, but you know, I'm, I'm traveling to Russia to to, to see the, the football. So uh, we we should with uh, with less budget uh, around. Uh, Maybe a quarter, a quarter of the budget, the budget, you know. Um, that that's the way because uh, I made two parts because uh, in the script because without money, that uh, the the eleven script doesn't work, you know. It's it's it's, 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 it's a, I can we can shoot this mo this movie, you know. We can shoot this movie. It's impossible. We can shoot another kind of movie because this movie was a low budget, but we have now a micro budget. You know, it's, it's totally different, a micro budget, because we are in the, in the Andes. There is no uh, drinkable, uh, drinkable water. You know, there's no, no food. There's no, no we, we have to take um, uh, motors uh, for charge the batteries and for charge the laptops and everything. So 
So uh, that's the reason that, that I take the, 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 the place and the very quiet decisions to, okay, I'm gonna have to, I need to see what is happening, you know? So that's the reason we, we adjust the, the, the screenplay. Uh, that's what I said that yet I, I have a, we, we, we wrote a 11 script, but I, I go up to, from, uh, to Cusco with a 12th script and then we wrote the 12th script because they, nothing can learn Quechua, can write in Quechua, no? Mm -hmm. And we should with a 13th script, you know? It, it, it's like more like like a heavy. So this is the the hard work was from the AD director Marina Herrera. She she's a such a such person that uh, he have the whole movie changing, transforming, muting, and cutting in her head. You know because uh, we we don't use the the screenplay as a screenplay. You know, we can do, okay, we need this, this situation, no? Because we can, we can shoot like, like what's uh, written in the script. Mauricio, my friend, we ran out of time. Um, I guess we can continue talking for much longer. I have uh, more questions, but uh, we'll see that's the only time that we have. Um, a great pleasure to, to, uh, share this space with you and uh, hope, um, hope to um, a lot of people enjoy your film. Great pleasure. Thanks. Thanks a lot and uh, enjoy the film. Thank you. Mm -hmm.